But anyway, he's like perfectly my type. He's not white. <laughs> hey, you could have chosen anywhere to leave me a voicemail, and you chose my voicemail, so leave me a message. <laughs> uh. Excuse me, sorry. Now I probably don't have a boyfriend. The f is wrong with you people? And you're all making fun of me, and I'm here just sitting here beezing. That's my opportunity to look innocent. <laughs> YouTube's been lacking in entertainment lately. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. Sorry. I picture David Attenborough narrating my life. And she reaches into the piles of rubbish. And reaches for a jar of fluff. It's not going to fit. <laughs> yes, it will! Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Body weight. <laughs> it's 343 pounds. <laughs> in a quiet suburb of Orleans in Canada, a wild beezer searches for her snacks in her natural habitat. No one cares! BBJ, I gotta put my supper here. Pete! I don't think... I don't know how that whole thing works with... with websites going down. Can't they just find another host? Like, I don't understand. Okay. So, um... No one will host them? Oh. Hmm. Does that mean I can get away with a lot of stuff? Where have I been? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you where I've been. I didn't go to, with Dee Dee to Pennington's! Let's, let's all gossip about everything- Okay, let's gossip about everything going on in the world, except for- in the YouTube world, except for me. Norma Jean, did you see Crybaby? GB is that garlic bread comparing himself to the bum saying just breezy was stalking him like you stalked the bum. Is this dude serious? I didn't see that, Norma. That's why I don't I like don't know what's going on. How do you know he's doing a video on him? So okay, let me get my dinner. I'm so hungry. Salad dressing. What can I use? Ah. <coughs> oh, sorry, Sam. Hey, Sam. You fat mother effer. Yeah, I do love cheese. Just keep talking about me. I heard my name. <laughs> Freddy. I don't like the fat, so I take it off. No vegetable? I don't want to make a salad. Do you guys want to, like, talk about stuff? Okay, what's going on with this threesome? I have no idea what's going on. Was he leading them on? Like, he was having a thing with both of them? No, he's not, he, he's not talking about it. She was saying they were engaged? Why would she lie about that? <laughs> Breezy sent him nude pictures? She didn't say- Oh, no, Jessica, yeah. Like, girl of impersonation. Oh, God. Rebe. 
Hey, welcome. You can choose to watch this, uh, my crappy life messy drama anywhere. And you choose to watch it here. Thanks for... <laughs> That's what I'm saying, like, Jessica's, like, is she trying to fuck, like, every single person on the YouTube right now that she talks to? She's just sending everyone her nudes or what? Like, is nobody going to say how weird it is that she's sending out her nudes? I don't know. I find that stupid. But now she just expects, like, she's a clout, she's a fucking clout chaser. She's a fucking clout chaser. That's what she is. <laughs> he was supposedly single. She still was watching. She knew the whole thing. Everything that was going on. She heard how he treated me. She was in Monty's chat line and Monty felt used. What's all that? Why is Monty in the middle of all this bitch drama? People, everyone is insane here, all right? Everyone. <clears throat> all of you side characters are freaking boring, all right? I know I'm boring right now, too. I know, I know. I kept saying that she was talking to garlic on a burner phone. Why does she have a burner phone? Uh, I... Uh... My god. You guys, there's like weird shit going on in this world. I told garlic in the comments what classy and orthodontically distinguished ladies he attracts. <laughs> I roll my eyes every time I see her fucking... Her one video with her all in black and white like... Try me. Like, bitch, you were sending him your fucking nudes. Shut up. <laughs> clout chaser. I hate clout chasers. I gotta plug my phone in. What is love? Lady, don't hurt. How do I like Roman and S-Jam? I don't particularly. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you think S-Jam is a clout chaser? They all make clout chasing coming from anybody makes me cringe. Okay? Anyone. I don't know. Is it really clout chasing if you send nudes? I don't think so. I think clout chasing, yes. But then, like, a little bit of seriousness. Oh, look at the fluff in the background. I was eating it with chocolate. Oh, I didn't tell you. On my dating app, in my messages, he messaged me. The guy. The glass. The guy from the... And, uh... He goes, I just want to know why you did this to me. Why you lied to me. I'm like, are you fucking serious? So I was like, listen... He's like, you could have just told me. Oh, I might have a boyfriend, yeah. Well, he lives in Montreal. But anyway, he's like perfectly my type. He's not white. No, he is white. He's not from this country. <clears throat> but he's so sweet. And that's all I can tell you otherwise. Oh, no Kiwi Farms to docks. You need to dump pizza at the orphanage and go to Montreal. Can you make a dream list of attributes and a partner? He said he needs space five hours after telling me he loves me and wanted me to move in. What? Oh, well, he probably just like really needs to give it some thought, maybe, Miss Holly. I wouldn't take it personal, but yeah, that's weird. Okay, it's a Turkish guy. But, anyway. So, I'm probably gonna, like, go meet him next week. And, he, like, he has his own place and everything, so... He said I can go, like, like, hang out there. I've never met him. Of course it still hurts. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Miss Holly. Yeah, it's probably just cold feet. And then people end up... Yeah, I've heard of, like, them getting cold feet and then, like... But it does hurt a lot, yeah. Because it... You, it's not just that it hurts, it's confusing because you, you're like, everything's going good. But maybe the person really isn't being truly honest about how they're feeling. But maybe they're also just not sure about how they're fully feeling and they don't realize it till it's too late. There's so many things that could be going on, you know. Well, my neck is disappearing again. What am I going to eat? What was I cooking? Oh yeah, I took out a bun to make a mortadella sandwich later. There's this hot man. Did I ever tell you about him? He's from a long time ago. I never got to hook up with him because I'm just not, I don't... I'm too intimidated. He's too hot. Like, he's, like, one of those hot guys that just want to hook up and, like, pretty much, like, don't talk to me unless we're going to hook up. <laughs> totally just one of those, you know? But! Like, total fuckboy. He's too hot. Like, I, I don't even want to touch him. I don't want to meet him because I'm too intimidated. <laughs> like, and he really wants to have sex with me. 
and he is always changing his WhatsApp picture. And he messaged me just a question mark today, totally cocky. And when I saw his picture, I was like, so I messaged him. I'm like, you asshole, is that really you? <laughs> He's like, where have you been? Because he just like randomly, I've been seeing him message me. Like he'll message me like, do you want to have sex or not? Like you want to F or not? Like, you know, cocky, like, because I'm like, totally, I don't answer him because look, like, I'm not really all like, ooh, yay, a hot guy wants to talk to me. I know you guys think that, but in reality, I don't really like a man who's really cocky like that, who's really full of himself. So really, even though he's really hot, on the grand scheme of like things on the scale, he's not somebody, yeah, he's not somebody that I would normally like be really attracted to because of his attitude. I know. This guy, you guys, holy fuck. Oh my God, he's like a god. He looks, oh, he's hot. Anyway, so, <laughs> and it's like a pole, you know, just like a pole. Like I look like, it look like I could just climb him and have fun, basically, is what he, 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 he said. And he, well, he, oh, he's the Dom guy. Yeah, he's Dom. He's the true Dom guy. But he's kind of an ass. He's not, I don't know, he's just very to the point and cocky a little bit. I know, that's why I triggered Andy, because the sex doesn't seem worth it for me. So I've just been kind of like ignoring him, but keeping him in my phone just in case I really ever want to go through with it because honestly, like he's hot. <clears throat> so it would just be a hookup, but I'm not really into that right now. So can you do breezy voice? Hi, guys. I don't know what did she say? Hi, breezers. Oh, do you want to see beauty beauty rolling down a hill? <laughs> I don't know. She, yeah, she has a, that voice, yeah. She has that and she looks like the little critters. She seems nice though. Fake. That voice is fake. Do Breezy being a stalker. <coughs> Hello. <laughs> Imagine her calling. Blowing up garlic bread's phone. He's not answering. Bring, 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 bring. <laughs> Hey, yeah, you reached uh, Ryan's uh, voicemail, so uh, just leave me a, just drop me a, drop me a line, and uh, I don't know what his fucking voicemail would say. <laughs> hey, you could have chosen anywhere to leave me a voicemail, and you chose my voicemail, so leave me a message. <laughs> and she, <clears throat> he just needs time. We're engaged. She said that. Aw. Uh... Hi. Um. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> I legit thought what? she thought they so they were actually engaged or what? He bought her Tiffany engagement ring. Didn't everyone receive news from Jess? That's what I'm saying. Like the fuck. I don't understand this fucking dynamic, and I'm done with all of you fucking freaky, weird, sexual deviants. Goodbye. I'm tired of this shit. I don't I can't picture fucking Nadless and fucking doo-doo. Uh. Excuse me, sorry. Now I probably don't have a boyfriend. Oh, well, I don't want them anyway if they don't like my burps. Fuck that. Anyway. <laughs> what are they? Are they sitting in bed on, on the fucking iPad or fucking Robinson fucking laptop? One of the two. And they're just watching Jessica fucking show her tits? Like, I don't understand the dynamic here. Are they in the purple bed? All three of them on Messenger going, ooh, la da, mm, wee, wee. What is going on? Fuck all of y'all. What do you, like, guys, what do you picture? Did outside working her job and not her... In the imitation leather bed, motorboating the tablet screen. <laughs> Did you outside working her job and add her in the imitation leather bed, motorboating the tablet screen? <sighs> and then Jessica, do you want to see them from this angle? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. My God. What's going on? The fuck is wrong with you people? And you're all making fun of me, and I'm here just sitting here beezing. That's my opportunity to look innocent. <laughs> yeah, like the guy I met, the Indian guy, like, he looked like, I guess, like he did in his pictures, but there was something about him in person that just wasn't. I just found so, un I wasn't attracted to him at all. And he, it's almost like he was mad. Like, just tell me what I did. You didn't have to lie to me. You could have told me that. I was like, I told you. I tried telling you. 
Like, I fucking tried telling you. Oh my god. YouTube's been lacking in entertainment lately. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. Sorry. I mean... <clears throat> Within the next month, I'm gonna things are gonna be a lot different. I think, I'm pretty sure. Like, if I move out by October first, then I want to have a huge Thanksgiving celebration because I'll be so thankful. I want to have a huge. I want to make a Thanksgiving dinner in my new place and have people over. I canceled the Twitch account. I never made- I know! I don't know what the fuck, I can't figure it out. I don't blame you, but you know what? Hi, Emerald! Hi! JP, when am I moving? I'm coming, Trigger Nandy. <coughs> Family, yeah, Penny. Butter pecan is one of my favorite fucking flavors. <gasps> Ice cream! Everyone is a deviant here. I'm kidding. He has been in a soulmate relationship with just breezing, and then he was- Talking to Jessica, lying to them both, met Breezy's daughter. They were engaged, and he denied it all. Uh, they never met in person? They never had did it or anything? I could not fall in love with someone, I don't think, without doing it. <laughs> well, no, I, I probably could. No, that's not true. I could definitely. I did. Yeah. Yeah, yes, leave my pizzas... Uh, is yeah of course he's coming with me I'm hoping to get somewhere where he can be in the basement or something no I'm not buying a house no. well no I don't want to have that kind of like am I doing vlog October I'm not sure I mean like I probably won't do a video every day but I want to do some fun things I gotta plan it out I just gotta figure out what I'm doing with the move and everything, and then I can worry about everything else. They're gonna start reacting to themselves, yeah. I don't have a crazy life really much anymore. Like, get rid of what's-his-face and I'm back to... Eating crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but my last month is paid for already, Penny, so I don't have to be here for the last month. I have to give two months notice. So, like... Technically, I have till November 1st, but I don't want to, if I find something, <clears throat> I can move that last month because this month is already, it's already paid for here, like, am I going to hire movers? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to ball make food and bees. You're here to stay. I'm going to react to girl group. Losing close to 700 subs already. Over his mean peen exposure. He did. That's a lot for his channel. I'm hiding things? No, I'm just thinking of something. <clears throat> I'm curious who's all watching me right now. Like, how many dudes I'm talking to? <laughs> oh my god. Like, uh, what the hell? I was gonna make a joke. Barbecue chicken got pregnant from uh, her natter sex stream and that pregnancy test. <laughs> Remember she had that when she was horrified? Whose pregnancy test was it? You know what? You know what? It probably was somebody's I don't even know. It probably was someone I don't even know at all. If you can guess how many years I've had these glasses, whoa, they've never been so clean. Well, who am I going to get married to? I do want to get married. I just have to find the right person. Do you know how many men there are out there? It's overwhelming. So, now, marriage material, Mr. Coffee, but that goes to show you that Mr. Coffee probably is married already because he's marriage material. He's too good. Guaranteed, he's married. I know, Miss Holly. I know. I don't know, but she's always there during the day, Starfish. She used to have to be working during the day, so I think she lost her job. <clears throat> I think. Maybe not. I don't know.
I don't wish that on anybody, but because I'll get bad karma myself. Monday. I I definitely see now. He he would always say, "Okay, so." Because I would be like, we're just, we're just not going to work because he wants someone he can control completely and he can completely control Didi. Completely. You know, so it's like, and he would be like, okay, so if we're not going to work, then let's just like, you know, be something that we can work with. And it's like, you can't with him. You can't because he has to have complete control of everything. Even when it's not in the best interest. And that was always the problem. We would always fight over like what we should, what we should talk about in public. Like with the hotel, the Nights Inn Hotel, for example. And it was like, he wanted to do it his way. He wanted to say like, you know, <laughs> we were just meeting for business, business partners. I was like, do you think, honestly think people, and I had a problem with that because it would be lying to you guys. Even like, I know, you know, I'm not saying I've never, ever, ever been dishonest, but I'm not going to say that I've never like come on here and been like, yeah, this and this and this happened. Like what, something so egregious like that. Her live? I like skimmed through it. I didn't even know she did one. It was so fucking boring. And this is just my opinion. But she's just sitting there. Blah, 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 blah. Dip, 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 dip. Dip, dip. <laughs> so dull. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Ask her a question she could answer. I don't know. It's weird how they're like cleaning that apartment so much, but... Girl, you still have the plastic forks from the Night's Sand gas station by my computer. Stop! Yeah, because I had to problem solve everything. It was always like, we were at the hotel, and then we were pulling in, and he, we see this lonely fucking grill, and I'm like, look, a grill! And he, I'm like, you could cook. And he was like, yeah, yeah, let's make it happen. And I was like, thinking, okay, now, and I'm like, fuck. And I didn't think he would say yes, I was kind of joking. Because we didn't have any utensils. <laughs> so I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, hey... And then I was like, okay, so he's like, oh yeah, we have nothing to cook it with. And he was like, kind of like annoyed with that. And then I was like, okay, well, I'll go up the street to the gas station and I'll get some cutlery. So just like always like having to problem solve stuff. I don't know. Things like this just stress me out personally. Maybe it's just me. Like, would that stress you out, a, a normal person? Driving in a car with Natter and his cough would stress me out. It used to. She did for sure. No corn chowder. Oh, fuck. I used to go. And he used to go, well, it's not my fault. Like, not your fault, but it's still annoying. And you were trying to be on the, <laughs> the Nights in web page. What? I tried, I tried to hide everything. I tried blurring the fucking 401 sign in the background. But somehow, <laughs> part of the weekly rates got in there. And everyone started making fun of it. <laughs> okay, Joey. Everyone started to fucking making fun. And I was like, <laughs> Brittany! <laughs> we saw you in the knobs of the grill, like a blob. I go, look, matter. They see me in the knobs. And I used, my stomach dropped because he was trying to hide the fact that we were together. Like, fuck you! Like, what, you think it's any better for you to be freaking like, like, fuck you! <laughs> anyway. He's like, no, they just see, uh, they just see, uh, all oh, the fake cheering his friends. <laughs> oh, anyway, hey, buddy. <laughs> I was, like, standing just off a camera filming him. Yeah, I was, like, on the other side of him filming, and he just looked off the camera, like, hey, buddy. And I look, and there's, like, no one. <laughs> it's just an open door with nothing. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? And to think that I slept near that barfy comforter. I think the barfy comforter was like, ah, I may have even put my leg on it. <laughs> well, I saw, yeah, Emerald. Remember when you fled to Orange Julep when he was asleep? What was that about? Oh my fucking God. Can you believe I drove all the way from Hotel Calibri to Orange Julep? Look on Google Maps, the trajectory while he was sleeping and he didn't even wake up. He never wakes up after sex, never. So I took the end <laughs> I took advantage and went to Orange The sad thing is that Orange Julep, that's the second time I went to Orange Julep in that day. 
The fucking Italian pretend is so good. And the hot dog and the pogos. I think I have a couple of pogos left. <laughs> you ran like you were fleeing the scene of a crime. I had to be quiet though, like. Because I remember the bed being hard. Oh god, the window air conditioner, yeah. Ew. <laughs> Considering that one that room was the model room, too. With the sex chair in it. <laughs> it's only 12 minutes? Really? Oh. The air conditioner was so yellow. Can you imagine how that filter must have looked? <laughs> Penny! I remember the first time you showed him. Hi, Lizzie. He was so mad. He blamed me. You showed my face. I told you not to show my face. I was like, it was an accident. Like, I didn't mean to show your fucking face. <clears throat> I was burnt out of my mind and I was trying to hold the camera. <laughs> But did you see back then how much he was even skinnier back then? Didi is treating him better. She doesn't go to the cops. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly like, dude, he said he specifically when he liked something that Didi did more like the way he would specifically point it out to me. He would be like, I was talking to him on messenger one day and he's sitting there all smug on the fucking brown couch at the end of it and he's like <clears throat> do you know why I like Didi more? and then he's like Didi when is my appointment with my probation officer? probation officer? and I was like are you fucking kidding me? and she's like uh Friday at 1pm so I was like you want a fucking medal? <laughs> fuck I hate them we freaking fought all the time and then and then uh so yeah, she keeps track of so basically he needs somebody he can just do all his who can do all his shit for him. Like he can't be an adult on his own. So yes, if you want someone to be an adult for you, that's not me. Sorry. Sorry. Oh my god, no thanks. She's his fucking mother. She's not she's his fucking mother. She prepares his things. Yeah, he is. Prepare me for my probation appointment. <laughs> Fuck. And judging from everything else we've seen, we know what goes on with them. He likes that too, that she fucking I don't. I go public and I go to the police. I don't know why people are so <sighs> Repair my lawyer. I don't know why people are so fucking surprised. That I would drop the charges for him or go so hard for him after because obviously like I fucking loved him you know so I didn't want him to go to jail what beyond how <laughs> are you bored Rusty is it because I'm talking about Nagger it's nice hearing you talk about him now because you can tell you have no feelings for him anymore yeah I haven't cried over him in a while you know what I mean I used to cry remember my breakdown in New York Oh my god. I picture David Attenborough narrating my life. And she reaches into the piles of rubbish. And reaches for a jar of fluff. <laughs> it's not going to fit. <laughs> yes, it will! Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Body weight. It's 343 pounds. <laughs> in a quiet suburb of Orleans in Canada, a wild beezer searches for her snacks in her natural habitat. She wants the marshmallow fluff. <laughs> she doesn't realize how sticky it is. I don't think- is marshmallow good for cats? I don't even know if it's good for cats. I don't think that's a good idea. What's in it? <laughs> Your whisker got stuck. It's sticky, it's- <laughs> Wait, it's really sticky. Wait. 
Alright guys, I guess I'm gonna go for now. I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Bye! Alright, I wanna live in freedom I wanna dance with my demons I wanna drink for no reason And celebrate every season Yeah, yo, call my place the kingdom Cause I got what you need Don't forget to subscribe And if you like what you see Please buy my merch Link in the description below.